So me and Davey had tickets to Blink-182 and this was the look that I was planning on wearing. I even considered going like full scene girl with my hair, kind of like a throwback to my younger self. But then the show got canceled and then I thought, well, at least I can show you the look that I was planning on wearing. It's kind of a mixture between my usual style and like kind of a old style scene girl. It's really easy to create just a few simple steps. So let's get started creating this look. So we're gonna start by applying an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. This is going to create a blank canvas for us to work on, give us a really good base, especially when we are gonna be applying black, so it's really important to prep the lid. Even though back in the day, eyeshadow primers were not a thing. However, the next step was kind of a thing, using a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil or some sort of a cream eyeshadow and applying this onto the lid and then up to the crease. Kind of a little throwback. And then I also wanted to go a little old school by using a shadow shield. I haven't used one of these in so long, but it's a great way to get matching angles for your wings. And because we are gonna be using a black matte eyeshadow, I will take all the help I can get. So I'm gonna start by painting over a little bit of the nude eyeshadow over the top of the tape to create the angle and create a good base for the black. The great thing about scene makeup is the freedom to be just a little bit messy. So you don't have to be too perfect with it. Apply the black and don't be scared of it because we have the base underneath, which will create a good grip. So you don't have to worry too much about fallout, but then we also have the tape there to create the angle. So just really get it on there. And this is bringing back so many memories. Does anybody else feel it or is it just me? Are there any scene people or emo people out there? <laughs> Let me know because you know the funny thing, I used to go from being preppy girl to skater girl in like one weekend. I just loved expressing myself in so many different ways. Once we have the black on there, we're then gonna be using a lighter matte nude shadow just to set the cream base and just to blend out any harsh lines that we might have with the black. And then you can go ahead and remove the tape and I like to buff the edges just to make sure it's not too harsh on that outer edge, just with whatever's left over on the brush and then just bring it up into my crease and just blend around the crease area. You can even add a little bit of your bronzer or even a little bit of your blush just into that crease area to bring the entire look together. Apply some mascara and some lashes before moving on to the lower lash line, which for a scene girl was so important, almost as important as the upper wing. I also love this brush by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I am a brand ambassador, but the E44 is like an old favorite that has become my new, newest oldest favorite. It's so amazing, I forgot how good it is. Definitely check it out. I'll put a link below. You want to apply the black underneath the lower lashes on the outer third to outer half of the lash line. Now I am a little bit old to be pulling this look off, but hey, you know what? If you can feel it, you can rock it, go ahead and do it. But just make sure that you are smudging it out with a deep brown. This will just soften out any harsh lines and just give you more of that blown out effect, which actually opens up the eyes and makes them look a little bit bigger. And that is the finished look. It's more of a wearable scene girl who's in her mid thirties now and still wants to give a little hint back to her younger self. Now, if I could only find my stripy socks and arm warmers, I would be good to go. I hope you guys had a great week. Let me know if you were gonna go to the concert cause I wish I could have seen you guys there and hopefully I'll see you when it gets rescheduled. And let me know if you were a scene girl or maybe you still are, which is really cool, but whoever you were or you are now, just remember to be kind to yourself be kind to your younger self and I will see you in a video really soon.